preparing clients for a successful wealth transfer. Over the next three or two four decades, an estimated 30 trillion in wealth is expected to transfer from baby boomers to their hires in the US. The exchanging of wealth on a small or a large scale requires a certain amount of planning on the part of inheritors. But a recent RBC wealth transfer study suggests that they may not be fully prepared. According to the study, only 35% of inheritors are prepared by the benefactors or to inherit wealth. The study also found a direct correlation between preparedness and confidence in wealth preservation. Among benefactors planning to pass on as assets, those with a full transfer plan in place were nearly twice as likely to express confidence that the next generation will sustain their wealth. Uh, what inheritors and benefactors don't know could hurt them. Uh, when transferring and receiving wealth, financial knowledge matters for avoiding potentially critical mistakes. Amy Jamrock, wealth management advisor, the Jamrock Group, Northwern Mutual Wealth Management Company in Hollyoak, Massachusetts, points to, uh, to, to two specific issues that often arise for inheritors when financially literacy is scarce. Uh, the first is lack of understanding, understanding regarding taxes. Jamrock cites a recent client who received a sizable inheritance but didn't immediately grasp its tax implications. The second is a lack of a clear financial plan for allocating and leveraging uh, an inheritance to meet the inheritor's goals. Establishing a relationship as early as possible with inheritors gives ad advisors an opportunity to lay a foundation of knowledge well uh, before a wealth transfer takes place. This enables inheritors to understand the goal and objectives of their loved ones and begin to plan for their inheritance, so they have an idea of what to do with it when they receive it. Says Mary Ellen Hancock, senior wealth st strategist at PNC Wealth Management in New York City. Hancock says if an inheritor is trying to manage a wealth transfer alone, they may wind up misma mismanaging the funds and losing the inheritance. She knows that problems can also arise when inheritors aren't sure what to ask their advisors or this no family discussions surrounding the transfer of wealth. The importance of the family meeting. When family discussions don't take place prior to a uh, wealth uh, transfer, Jamrock says advisors must be willing to step in and facilita facilitate them. The primary goal of these discussions is to allow both sides to set their expectations for the transfer. It's tremendously helpful to begin the educational process with a family meeting, Jamrock says. Advisors should educate inheritors on where the money for wealth transfer is coming from and what time of money it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Parents or grandparents who are passing on their wealth can be equally in the dark. Jamrock has encountered clients who had set up their estate plan to leave taxable money to their children while leaving less taxable funds to charity. In the situation, uh, she was able to help them change their allocation to maximize the amount of wealth left behind. Advisors should also be discussing the emotional component of receiving an inheritance. Oftentimes, an inheritance leaves people feeling guilty or with a huge sense of responsibility, Jamrock says. Uh, they want to steward the money appropriately, but they become paralyzed because they don't want to do it wrong. Advisors need to be prepared to help inheritors draw out and pro process the emotions surrounding an inheritance so they can formulate a rational plan for using it. It's less about the money and more about the physiology fuck, psych, psychology of money, Jamal says. Knowledge builds confidence. 
Money remains a mystery for many Americans and that can directly impact their financial confidence. For example, in a 2017 Northwestern Mutual study, uh, 82% of Americans said they were somewhat or not at all confident in their understanding of investing. They, they cited having a better understanding of the market and their investment options as being confidence builders. The same principle can be applied to a wealth transfer scenario. The more inheritors know about the details of wealth transfer and its implications, the more self-assured they may be in the decision-making. Knowledge is power, Hancock says. Clients who are well-educated about potential strategies will have a clear understanding of where they want to go, and decisions become easier to execute. Jamrock says, uh, confidence can grow naturally as financial liter literacy increase, but it must be encouraged. These are not just factual conversations, there is a lot of emotion tied to it. She says, advisors must be able to help get those conversations while providing inheritors with the education and tools they need to develop their confidence. The bottom line. Uh, a wealth transfer, particularly one that's unexpected, can dramatically reshape an inheritor's financial plan. For advisors, the goal is to help inheritors maintain the right perspective both before and after a wealth transfer occurs. There are opportunities to create meaning, value and significance that may not have been there before without an inheritance. Jamrock says, for advisors, the most important step in fostering financial literacy and confidence is taking time to ask the right questions. Okay guys, it's all for today. Uh, today we spoke about uh, how to prepare clients for a successful wealth transfer. I think everything was understandable. Bye, see you in my next videos.